Hi guys, so this video is of me doing a urine dipstick. Um, so right now I'm just following the directions on the machine. Um, I'm about to scan my badge right now for the operator ID. And once I'm just following the directions, um, I'm about to press the strip test because I'll be using the Simons Multi-Stick 10 to run this test. Um, with the urine dipstick, we basically run these tests whenever a patient is complaining of like back pain, um, frequent urination, burning with urination, and simil something similar to that. Um, so right now I'm just scanning the patient's ID so it can go straight to the patient's chart once it's finished running. So I'm just entering that in. And I have to normally have to scan it twice. So right now I'm just going to press use the last, which is basically I'm using the same lot number because we are not opening a new uh, a new box. We are just using the same one. At this point, I'm just getting the urine. Um, I was going to go ahead and just dip the stick, but um, I remembered I have to get three tubes. We have to tube three tubes every time just in case like the provider wants to send them out to run more tests that we cannot uh, run here in our lab. So I'm just filling the tubes up. And once I finish filling the tubes up, then I will get the multi-stick and dip it into the patient's urine. This is how the stick looks. And I'm kind of uh, tilting the urine so it can get all on the stick so all the urine can get on all the samples that it need to get on. And with this, we have to make sure that the stick is on there the correct way because if we put the stick in the machine and it's tilted or it's not placed directly or correctly in the slot it won't read and it'll reject it okay and at this point we're just looking at the urine to see if it's um, yellow and clear or if it's um, a different color and right now I'm just putting my one of my fingers through to see if I can see through it. If I can see completely through it, then it's clear. But if I can't, then I just have to press other and go select whatever option I see. And on this specific urine, I've seen yellow and slightly cloudy. I can kind of see through it, but it was kind of cloudy. So that's why I chose slightly cloudy. And it normally takes about 43 seconds to read. Um, so right now the test is complete. So I'm just throwing the stick away. And the results is actually printing out of the machine at this point. And right now I'm just kind of cleaning up uh, what I had kind of messed up as far as putting the, the top back on the urine, um, on the multi stick and emptying the urine. And I'm just properly disposing the cup. And I'm using bleach to spray in the sink so it won't have a strong odor smell in the lab. We have to do this after every time we dump a uh, urine into the sink. And this is, uh, this is considered a dirty sink, so we do not wash our hands with this sink. It's strictly from pouring urine down. And I'm just wiping off the counter. Um, I do have to label the tubes. So 
So once I'm done with this, that's what I would do. Uh, this is the results, so I'm just putting that to the side um, so I can take to the provider. Um, the, the results normally do go to the computer, go into the patient's chart, so the provider are able to see them, but it does take a while for it to get in there, so that's why we have to give them the receipts. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it and continue to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you would like to see next. Um, I do look forward to posting more ideas. Again, this was just a quick um, test that I run on a day-to-day -day basis while I'm at work. This test I normally run about minimum three times a day because it is a, a kind of popular test that we run every day just to make sure that the patient is okay and we get like a lot of complaints um with like back pain and frequent urination and burning while peeing and so on so thank you guys so much for watching um i look forward to posting more